This morning's text is found in Galatians chapter 2 and verse 10. Remember the poor. Why does God allow so many of His children to be poor? He could make them all rich if He pleased. He could lay bags of gold at their doors. He could send them a large annual income, or He could scatter round their houses abundance of provisions, as once He made the quails lie in heaps round the camp of Israel, and rained bread out of heaven to feed them. There is no necessity that they should be poor, except that He sees it to be the best. The cattle upon a thousand hills are His. He could supply them. He could make the richest, the greatest, and the mightiest bring all their power and riches to the feet of His children, for the hearts of all men are in His control. But He does not choose to do so. He allows them to suffer want. He allows them to pine in penury and obscurity. Why is this? There are many reasons. One is, to give us who are favored with enough an opportunity of showing our love to Jesus. We show our love to Christ when we sing of Him and when we pray to Him. But if there were no sons of need in the world, we should lose the sweet privilege of evidencing our love by ministering in almsgiving to His poorer brethren. He has ordained that thus we should prove that our love stands not in word only, but in deed and in truth. If we truly love Christ, we shall care for those who are loved by Him. Those who are dear to Him will be dear to us. Let us then look upon it not as a duty, but as a privilege to relieve the poor of the Lord's flock, remembering the words of the Lord Jesus, Inasmuch as ye have done it unto one of the least of these my brethren, ye have done it unto me. Surely this assurance is sweet enough, and this motive strong enough, to lead us to help others with a willing hand and a loving heart, recollecting that all we do for His people is graciously accepted by Christ as done to Himself.